welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us on Midwest Access. It is Friday. That means it's time for Mitchell's Movie Minute. How's it going? It's going pretty good. It's been a busy month, last few weeks, I guess. Uh, a lot of sports going on, but I'm trying to make some way in to see a couple of movies. So I've seen a, seen a few here. I got a couple for us. Okay, what are we talking about today? Yeah, we'll start here with The Creator. This is an original sci-fi film directed by Gareth Edwards, starring John David Washington. Basic plot for this movie, it is set in the future where a war is taking place between humans and artificial intelligence. Very timely. Washington's character Joshua is an ex-Special Forces agent who gets recruited for a mission to find the creator, the person who created AI and the mysterious weapon built here to end the war. A big twist here is the weapon is a child which sends Joshua on a different path and pretty much sets up the rest of this movie. A big thing I do want to point out with this film, it had a budget of $80 million. I want to compare it to another one, Guardians of the Galaxy. Three, a Marvel movie that came out this year, $250 million budget. Oh, okay. So when I talk about this film, I'll first talk about kind of what I liked. As you can kind of see a bit here in the trailer, this movie looks incredible on a budget, as I had just said, that is small compared to a Marvel movie or something else that has a look or strives for a look like this. The AI characters are uh, unbelievable. The world that's built here is pretty incredible. The problem I had with the film is just the story doesn't pan out perfectly for me. I think I'm a big sci-fi fan, and the thing I love about sci-fi is that you end up coming away with some ideas, thoughts, questions uh, about humanity, what it means to be human through a sci-fi film, okay. and this one just kind of doesn't reach that point. Okay. It's pretty entertaining, it's adventurous, but doesn't reach the point I wanted it to, to go above and beyond. I will say the trailer is very intriguing. It's great. I, I would really say if you have some time and you love sci-fi, check this out, because as I said, with that budget, you don't get original sci-fi movies on a budget like that yeah. that look like this anymore unless they're a Star Wars or a Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And you saw this in theaters? I saw this in theaters, yes. Okay. Yes. Next up, a movie you also saw in theaters. Yes, a movie I saw in theaters, and very recently, this is a new film. It's a new movie from acclaimed director Martin Scorsese, Killers of the Flower Moon. It stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Lily Gladstone, and Robert De Niro, among others. This movie is based on the nonfiction book of the same name, detailing the murders of members of the Osage Nation in Oklahoma in the 1920s. It was then the Osage were the wealthiest people in America per capita as there was oil on this land they were forcefully put on and were being killed for their fortunes. Caprio plays Ernest Burkhart, nephew to De Niro's William Hale here, as those two, along with really countless others, it's kind of uh, who didn't do it. I think Martin Scorsese was saying this movie is about, it's not a whodunit, who didn't do it, countless others commit these atrocities. Ernest marries Molly, played by Lily Gladstone, and aims to get her fortune as well. And um, I found this movie it, unbelievable. Yeah, it, it's okay. incredible. Uh, I will say, obviously, I think the big thing with this movie is the runtime. It's about three and a half hours, okay. but I found it engaging and compelling and interesting pretty much through the entire point. You know, it's you gotta manage your bathroom breaks or don't, <laughs> you know, I made it through fine. If you just manage, you go before, manage your drink intake okay. during, you're fine. <laughs> Um, but I love this movie. I was really entertained, not entertained by it, but engrossed in it. And uh, I thought it was, it was great. It's a really impactful and important story. Um, I think a lot of things continue to happen in our world now. Yeah. This movie hits on, uh, and it's, it's a true story and a history I didn't know when I sat down to watch sure. this. And you take it from this one. The performances are incredible. It's a Scorsese flick. Right. Direct it well. DiCaprio's great. Gladstone, I mean, she's going to be up for winning an Academy Award by the end of this year. Um, so it's a really great film. Only flaws I had was, and I think a lot of people have kind of pointed this out. I know the Osage language consultant pointed this out about the film. is It, it, it is one where you want it more from the Osage, from Lily Gladstone's character and the Osage okay. people in this film. Um, and, but Scorsese is best with what he could direct. That's sure. one that you want someone from that stage people to direct. Okay, in theaters today. In Julian theaters. Mitchell, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, thank you. thank you. We have to take a break. We'll have the answer to your question of the day when we come back.